know it is a banger Don't pay your bills or a knacker Assaulted means batter Running away means a scatter If she's a slut then she's a slapper Welcome to Dublin pal You're about to learn the lingo from Ireland's finest wow. rappers You get punched, you got dicked You get drunk, that means I wrecked Twisted lock, book of these words are spying the best If I'm choking then I'm buzzing A faggot is a young flat that does nothing When I'm bashing on his love wood Betray your mace and you're a snake Put some drugs on but then I went out Pay you no front as cosplay Don't wash yourself then you're a scruff Take her up the ass then you're a puff If she's pregnant then she's under the roof I bought a cunt there's a drug shoe When I greet you I say what's happening pal Are you all right? If you're looking then you're bent down If you're nice in the future with your sound Need the cunts are known as hounds Your dick like a fucking pleb and your adopted family will probably throw you back into the hellhole Go change your face and then you might get some matches you goblin Well you can't say I'm not prepared Cam Kirkham, baby! Today is a very special day because old Cam Kirkham is back because we're going to be talking about another YouTuber. Today's lucky subject is a man that tears down people on YouTube and Twitter for a living. And unlike my doctor at the clinic, he'll give you a negative in just about everything. But that is why I love him. And his name is Kavos. Now if you haven't heard of him, first of all, you've got no taste. Second of all, the best way to describe him, he's like the Karen of white males. Now before we begin, I don't want to call him by his YouTube name. I want to call him by his government name, the name he was born with, the name that's on his ID. McLovin. Because I want to show you, McLovin, the maximum amount of respect when looking at your channel, just like you do with other people. <laughs> you little wanker. <laughs> now without further ado, let's kick this off. One fainty in the middle of the night, it was two. Now every single video that I see on McLovin is designed to slate him, which is not what I want to do. Tearing somebody down, that's not in my nature. <laughs> I'm a child of God, motherfuckers. Some people might argue that Kavos's content has a lot of similarities to the party island that he was conceived on. Uh, same shit, different day, basic and full of AIDS. But I wouldn't say that, and that is why every single minute of this video is going to be dedicated to show you why McLovin is the best creator on the platform. And if you ask me, it's not hard to see why. For instance, he's just oozing charisma. So I'd watch Lion King. I ain't thinking of that shit. Just can't wait to be blue. Oh shit. I forgot about this part. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Aww. Oh, I'm actually getting emotional. What the f***? This is supposed to be a skit. <laughs> I watched this in years. And I mean, there's no questioning that his comedy's on point. In the troubles, no one's matched you and you're feeling kind of down. Well, shit, you must be one ugly fucker. I bet you were so ugly your mum didn't even want to breastfeed your ugly mug. Fucking ugly baby. Go change your face and then you might get some matches. Hey, look at me, guys. I smoke weed. Oh, look at me. I'm going to post on my Snapchat. I'm smoking weed. Oh, I'm so cool. Look how cool I am. Do I look like a tasty treat? And most of all, there's no chance that he'll bore you. Ooh, big jab there from Logan. Ooh, nice jab from Logan. Man, this is a good fight. If you are talent, you could say he didn't ask for these powers. Now, nobody can deny that McLovin 
is a very strong boy. For instance, don't tell anybody, okay? But I heard that he scared I'm Alex off from going to his own meetup at a YouTube event. What? McLovin, you scared I'm Alex off? Ooh. You're hard. I'm Alex, you fucking mash of mate. Oh, oh God, I just want to apologise to you. I'm panicking now. I'm going to lose my job. Eh, McLovin? Ya little pussy. I don't even think Stevie Wonder would be a fair fight for I'm Alex. And he's blind. Actually, could I'm Alex beat up a blind man? Somebody get that on the undercard. I'm not convinced. You know, you could say, I'm very superstitious. To be fair, on a serious note, when you did that to I'm Alex, that was when me and all the other eight-year-olds that watch your videos knew we respected you. In addition to that, intimidating I'm Alex and your videos do share something in common. They both take little time and effort. Actually, scrap what I was going to say. I want to switch the flow up a bit. I've got something serious to say. Obviously, I don't have any criticism with people making videos on people because if you're going to put yourself on the internet, which you get paid very graciously for, you should have to deal with a certain amount of criticism that comes your way. However, there comes a point where you're making four videos in a row on somebody and challenge them to a fight in real life which makes them feel intimidated enough not to turn up to their own meet and greets because they know that you are a lot physically bigger than them. When you're personally trying to intimidate them and you know that you're a lot physically bigger than them, that's what I have a problem with. Yeah, mate, I just find it interesting that the only two people that you've challenged to a fight are Rice Gum and I'm Alex, you know? The two brutes of YouTube. Fuck it, oh mate, your bollocks must be fucking massive. And well, it doesn't stop there, does it? This fucking kid made the exact same video as me. He used my fucking clips. Every point is exactly the same. It's structured the exact same. What a prick you are, mate. Fuck yourself. Make original content, you prick. Not even primary school kids are safe from Big Bad McLovin. And them two declined the invitation like they should have. However, I heard a rumour that when you got offered to fight somebody that wasn't built like a toothpick on that fame MMA event with the YouTubers, you turned it down. Um, I don't know. I, I just find that interesting. But hey. <clears throat> oh... I guess that's none of my business. <laughs> Just relating back, I don't really want to talk about that whole situation because I'm, I don't need to sugarcoat it with yous. I just really couldn't give less of a shit. It's YouTube, like, beef. It means nothing, man. And I don't feel like I need to defend I'm Alex because I've never met him, I don't watch his videos, and I couldn't care less what other YouTubers think of us. Now, let's get one thing straight, McLovin. This is just between me and you, nobody else. Uh, you can go on YouTube and be like, oh, I'm gonna go and meet him, I'm gonna go and say this to him. But outside of this YouTube bollocks, <laughs> You are not hard, mate. Like, you haven't seen shit! So let's get one thing straight, princess. I might be children in need. Pudsy Bear is knocking at me door skinny. But nothing you can do can intimidate me. So let's get on with the video. <laughs> Now when I go down to the local shop and somebody says, Cam, what's your favourite thing about McLovin? I'll go, I'll bloody tell you, John. My favourite thing is that he really sticks to his word and he never goes back on what he says. If anything, he means every letter and his content comes from the soul. But again, don't take my word for it that McLovin really sticks to his word. Let the man tell you himself. Why are people selling their fans shit that they know is low quality and is shit? What is going on? If I ever offer my fans anything, you know that shit is going to be good and it's going to be high quality. I don't understand these people basically taking advantage of their fans. Just because you insult the product, it doesn't mean it's going to deter a lot of your hardcore fans from buying that shit. What makes my Patreon so great are the rewards. I will send you monthly pictures of my feet. This will surely satisfy 
all you feet freaks out there. Why are people selling their fans shit that they know is low quality and is shit? I, for the mere price of $15, will write your name into a song and sing it for you. If I ever offer my fans anything, you know that shit is going to be good. The final $50 tier is called Extra Special Fun. Now, you may be wondering what's so extra special. Nothing for you. It's extra special fun for me. I get more money. Hooray! Just because you insult the product, it doesn't mean it's going to deter a lot of your hardcore fans from buying that shit. Just because you insult the product, it doesn't mean it's going to deter a lot of your hardcore fans from buying that shit. Uh, you must be joking! Well... That's a bit awkward. Yeah, thanks for nothing, McLovin. You're acting like a real Mac asshole today. Yep, because that's what I want to spend $15 on. Paying somebody to sing that can't even speak. And that's coming from me, a man that stutters, stut, stutters on every, today, Junior. A man that stutters on everything he says. I mean, let's be real. Stuff a pop filter. He's gonna need the three gorgeous dam in front of that mic. On a serious note, like I even need to say this, don't pay for a song, even if it's for a meme. Come on guys, like I really can't be asked to watch Steve Carell in Evan Almighty 2. It's just the fact that you say- If I ever offer my fans anything, you know that shit is gonna be good. This just reveals that he's full of crap and that McLovin will just tell his audience what they want to hear. However, when it no longer works for him, he just backtracks on everything he said. So I, if you're a fan of McLovin, uh, in your language, uh, I hope that point really helps you understand who he really is. Another example of McLovin never talking out his ass is shown through his take on the Logan Paul hanging situation six days after the event occurred on the 5th of January. Now in typical McLovin form, this video is from the heart. It's cool, calm, calculated, and he's really not trying to take advantage of a delicate situation. I'm not trying to milk it. If I think there's something of value for a video, I will make it. And I do think there is value here for the video. I'm really confused right now. Normally I don't give a shit about this kind of thing. However, because it's a sensitive topic, I don't want to just jump into it quick. However, because it's a sensitive topic, I don't want to just jump into it quick. Outrage is growing overnight about a video Logan Paul posted overnight. I don't want to just jump into it quick. Just jump into it quick. I don't jump into it quick. Jump into it quick. Well, that's my McLovin Stan account deleted. Yeah, McLovin uploaded that video just a few hours after the actual video was released. Now I know this firsthand because by the time I got to see the Logan Paul situation, uh, the video was deleted and McLovin's video was top of the search, which is why it gained a staggering amount of views. But, of course. I'm really confused right now. Normally I don't give a shit about this kind of thing. However, because it's a sensitive topic, I don't want to just jump into it quick. Oh, shut the front door, man. You don't give a sugar Ray Leonard if that video was about suicide. All you care about is how many views, likes, subscribers the video's going to get. Now, you can combat that point and say, I don't care about how many views it got. I was just trying to alert everybody of the situation. However, why did you go on Twitter? and brag about how many views it got. Yeah, ask Stan McLovin. He definitely cares about sensitive topics. It's not like you put any extra effort into it to make it a good video. It's just a raw file with a few cuts or even say anything that we didn't already know. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't care, this trumps everything that Jake Paul's ever done. This is a new low for the Paul brothers. Oh, what? Filming a dead body's wrong, is it? Two secs, McLovin. I'll just take the GoPro off the one outside. I know you'll tell yourself you've got some excuse that you've got in your head of why you uploaded the video, but come on, man. Like, we know that's bullshit. Everybody watching this knows it's bullshit. You did it for views. You've got two arguments that don't work. First, you upload the video to keep people updated, and then you've got the second one where you're saying you don't want to rush into it. Like, What's going on, bro? Just pick one, own it, and stop being a pussy. Now, obviously, you're not as bad as Logan Paul in this situation because you didn't film the actual body. However, you gained six times as many subscribers in January after uploading that video than you did in the month before. So you knew you would use the situation to your advantage. You scummy little rat. Getting almost double the views of his last vlog and think about all the merch sales he's gonna get thanks to this. Think about all the subscribers he's gonna gain, the more traction he's gonna get. All the thanks to this poor dead man 
I hope it was worth it. Actually, thinking about it properly, I feel a little harsh saying that because at the end of the day, I respect that McLovin used to a site for views because it shows he really doesn't give a rat's ass about his content. To further prove this, just look at his like ratios. 39%, 41%, amazing. But hey, look on the bright side. You've got something in common with a billionaire celebrity because those are about the same percentages as teenage pregnancies in Jeffrey Epstein's villa. So like a lot of men, McLovin rarely likes to mention his genitals. Because I have big English balls. Big English balls. Big English balls. Grr, man, that's such a funny joke. Why didn't I think of that? Damn. He's such a great memer. Now we've already assessed how McLovin really means what he says and how he has an intimidating persona. So I want to show you real examples of him having big English balls. Fuck Lawrence Stewart. He has been view button, his Twitter button. I don't give a fuck. I had a night out and now I'm fucking drunk as fuck. And Lawrence Stewart, he's a bitch. I'm gonna make a video on this guy. I'm gonna fuck him up so bad. I deserve this shit. I've been fucking with him before people thought it was cool. I'm gonna fuck this guy over tomorrow. Watch out, Lance Stewart, you fucking cunt. Ooh, a bit of that, am I right, girls? He makes Tommy Shelby look like Gokwan. McLovin isn't on that small bullshit. He doesn't go home and shag a girl or sniff some coke and punch his stepdad. No, he picks up his phone and tells a YouTuber that does pranks on his grandma to go fuck himself. Ooh, sassy. Because we all know that's the definition of having big English balls. <laughs> Can you imagine how cool McLovin's friends think he is? I bet they think he's really cool. Imagine you're at an afters with your mates after a heavy night out and one of your pals comes up to you and says, So this guy on Twitter has been Twitter button. You'd be like, I, I don't give a shit mate. Now just to pre warn you, I do have another clip. Um, but before we begin, uh, oh God. I need to put... These on. These are my cringe goggles, which block out absolute all cringe. So let's go. I just got home from clubbing. My rise come video. I just got home from clubbing. 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 Oz. Is that what the cool kids call it, is it? Aye. What is this? The 1980s? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. He sounds like me nan. If one of my mates came up to me and said, Hi, Cam. Do you fancy going for some margaritas and clubbing on the weekend? I'd be like, No, mate. I'm going to turn you into the non -sunders. Now, to further prove how much McLovin really is a tough guy, he has another example of him having big English balls. I am Alex has finally, finally apologised. I got my countdown on Twitter to nearly two weeks. Apologise. Apologize. I don't know. That's a bit weird, mate. It puzzles me why you get so excited by such dire YouTube beef. This is coming from a supportive place. Mate, you're 22 and you made a countdown every single day for the YouTuber I'm Alex to apologise. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that sink in for a couple of minutes, okay? Take your time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, come on. <clears throat> McLovin. Just go outside, mate. Just get yourself a girl or go and do something. You don't need to be doing this, man. This is why, like, I don't really connect with a lot of YouTubers because I just feel like we're totally different. Like, can you imagine going up to your mates? Hi, guys. You're not going to believe this, but <laughs> on Twitter, I've nearly got me I'm Alex countdown apology to two weeks. <laughs> Aye. Well, you stand here with your dick in your hand, mate. I'm gonna go over there and talk to them because I've actually felt the touch of a woman. Now, in a totally unpredictable turn of events, McLovin also used his genitals as his merch. Which was announced in an announcement video which he clickbaited using Jake Paul. Because, let's face it, 
What else does he do? So excited to announce is BEB -E -B apparel. I I'd wear it to the club, I'd wear it out just randomly. We're releasing hoodies, t-shirts, and beanies. Uh, and the reason we went with BEB -E -B apparel is it's quite obvious really, big English balls. Uh, and also, you know, for all you kids out there worried about your parents not like letting you buy big English balls apparel, we can just keep it on the hush because it's called BB apparel. You really don't need to uh, explain. What? Like, how young are your audience? When I was 10, I was getting called a little C-U-N-T. And that was on my birthday. Um, so yeah, if you're a fan of McLovin and you're watching this video, <laughs> Please don't tell your mum and dad because I don't want to get in trouble again. Now for real, I would never call McLovin a pussy for real because let's face it, I was just not raised that way. My nana always used to say you should never call somebody something they would struggle to call themselves. In fact, I'd rather call McLovin a word which I've adapted specifically for his very soft lips. Now I want you at home to be able to do this, so I'm going to give you a tutorial. So first off, you need to stretch your neck, maybe slap it, tense your lips to the core, and with maximum force, shout, PUFFY! Now it would mean a lot to me if you can send me videos of you saying that, so I can use it in my next video, or failing that, just spam it in the comments, and spam it on Twitter, and I will be replying to everyone. You know what? Nah. Calling them that, in the comfort of my own house, that's not gonna make McLovin comfortable with his new title. So I did a little bit of digging, and I got word from some people that McLovin now lives in London. So the only thing to make him feel truly at one with his new title is to say it in his home city. I'll see you in a few hours. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. No, it's not. It's it gets gross. the people going. Three years ago, I yell me bollocks out. Empty pockets, empty wallets. We smoked every product out. Orange board and shack attack. I put this place on one by drill. Riding mods from India cause I'm into that exotic trail. I never wrap up when I'm rooting fat folks. And I never buy the open and robbing that books. I take it to the crooks and they keep it on the books now. Sleeping on the bus and all the boys when I'm up. Me, Cas, my Sid, Bab and Jay were always on the flow. Unemployed and baked the bits were skinned. Oh yes, I'm pop my bloke. We do full car, pal. Everybody thinks we're dope. We're traveling 300 miles to say one word and it's taken five hours and I'm feeling fucking good. They're back for the goons and do balloons. Demon boy mother, young grasshopper, another job offer you ain't get. Black dolphin bunker, woke up in cold sweats, running on my bed, I think I'm dead. Beat your death, moonlight on your skin Feel the heat, let the nightmare begin Pull the paw, pop your arm, I'll be in camp Put me back together, now I don't feel scared Watch the yeah, I want the oil golden bait That's super soft, when you smell you get a taste Make the paste, then you throw it to the base Cut a shape, make the knees, bellies crave Mate, how are you, man? I've travelled 300 miles for this, you've got to do it. Three. How are you, mate? Just do it. Okay, okay. Come on. Puffy! Let's go. And after this, the movement spread like wildfire. Puffy! 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 Puffy. 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 So yeah, now that the whole of the UK and his home city now know him as Puffy. 
Now, I recently saw an article which said that wet wipes are going to be removed from the UK, which is bad news for McLovin. I mean, can you imagine carrying a baby for nine months, going through hell, labour, and giving birth just for him to make videos on Jake Paul and wear 11 degrees? I'm sorry, right? But if you're wearing 11 degrees in 2019, you definitely take a bath with your da. I actually managed to capture this photo, which is taken from McLovin's secret Snapchat. What in the sick silk am I looking at here? If there's one positive to take out of this situation, at least the JD Black Friday sales went down superbly in the McLovin household. I mean, it's no wonder why McLovin struggles to focus his camera on his videos with all of that Lynx Africa cloud in the lens. Where you go? Take them away. Finally, the biggest compliment that I can give to McLovin is that after watching one of his videos, you feel like you know less stuff. You could say he offers you a free service to lose brain cells. This is proven by him just chatting absolute bollocks about things he doesn't care about, but he knows will make him more money. Just this clip shows a side to Ellen that I've never really seen before. She has given out free merch to her audience members, but has said you can only take one piece of merch. What's your name? My sister couldn't come, so that was her souvenir. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Sorry. a lot of people's sisters couldn't come. All right, Ellen, fuck me. No need to get your knickers in a twist. It's just a bit of shitty merch. Ellen is getting genuinely pissed off at this fan. Jesus Christ. She looks bloody raging there. She's making Bruce Banner look like a yoga instructor. Honestly, I don't know how the producers have managed to contain her. <laughs> oh, big English balls. Yeah, more like no balls at all. Just in case you need clarification, McLovin, Ellen is a comedian and she's doing something called a joke. You know, you should try one one time. <laughs> Oh, you wanted to fight Imalix and Rice Gum, but you can't even deal with Ellen DeGeneres making a sarcastic comment. <laughs> oh, one thing you can't say about McLovin, he never fails to surprise you, which is proven further by this clip. Ellen genuinely looks like she's about to lose her fucking shit. <laughs> So what is your name? Ellen is quite literally naming and shaming a fan of her show. Don't ever take my merch again, you scumbag. I mean, I wouldn't want to fuck with Ellen if she's willing to do this to one of her own fans. What about this clip of you in CVS with Michelle Obama? Did, you, did we pay for that? Mm. Ellen, how could you? You didn't pay for that. And, and you ate it. That is stealing. My brother, chill. <laughs> It's a joke, bro. You don't need to start bringing up our past and shit. People like you are the reason we've got daft things like cancel culture. <laughs> That's like David Cameron sitting down with his kids watching Peppa Pig and me bursting in like, Oh, you like watching Peppa, do you? Well, what happened when you fucked that pig, motherfucker? No, bro. Chill. It's daytime entertainment for menopausal women. Not the Holocaust. Take a comms once in a while. There's no shame. I'm on them. I take three a day. It stops just stabbing myself in the eye every second. <laughs> if this doesn't prove to you that he will just make a mountain out of a molehill and chat shit about anything that he doesn't care about just because it gets the views, I don't know what will. In conclusion, brother, I know that you used to be the guy that everybody was scared in case you made a video on them, but come on, <laughs> you're past it now. Look at me. Listen, brother. I am the captain now. <laughs> now, obviously, we know you don't like to put too much effort into your videos, so in the description, I'm gonna leave links to my, like, most embarrassing videos or little points that you can make about me. I'll even write the script for you. If you want, just drop us a message. Oh, and I forgot to say this in the actual video, but McLovin, your ma's a plant, bro. As a final, final note, I just want to say I'm sick of doing videos that are just friendly. I'm going to go back to how I used to be when I was doing well. I took a little vacation, okay? I made some sick donuts, I sold some ice lollies, and I done a Kanye West and used Jesus for views. I'm going back to old Cam Kirkham when I was blown up, when I was taking the piss out of all the YouTubers and not giving a shit what anyone thinks.
One fine day in the middle of the night It was two dead men gone home to fight They were back to back Faced each other, drew their swords and shot each Let's other